but the car feels good right there let's have the brakes stay on track yes and the Maple Valley sweep I'm loving I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city and she ain't foreign and she boring love the way you twerk it shawty throw my money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. Did pick up my Ultimate Edition as we are staring at this beautiful Fast and Furious Subaru BRZ. It is gray and, you know, bronze wheels, but we are here today to do our first drift here in Forza Motorsports 7. We're going to build a car because I feel like we're just going to try and change it up. And so we're going to, we got a little bit of money. We did our first race. We only have like, like 280 thousand or something like that 209 thousand so we're gonna build a car though and uh get our first drift in you know we're gonna go with a nissan of course now i do like the fact that forza motorsports 7 has changed a lot of the ability where you can't just buy the cars outright they are locked you gotta upgrade your tier levels we did get a couple custom cars like forza uh the forza edition gtr you know with our vip bundle opening which is cool because they have you know the uh Forza Thons now here in Forza Motorsports. So, um, I'm debating between an S15 or an S13. Um, I wonder if we can put Y body. I think we can put the Y bodies on the car. So, I think we're going to go with the S15 for today. Let's see if anybody's uploaded a bunch of different. Oh, there's a lot of different paints on here already. The Warhouse Drift team on there. We're just gonna go with a standard color. We're gonna go with a manufacturer. Eh, manufacturer blue. Why not? We're gonna buy this car. Uh, oh, buy this car with the upgrades for thirty-nine thousand, and you can get in the car. The car comes with parts needed to unlock your car for competitive racing. Uh, we're gonna buy it with stock parts. We'll just upgrade it from there. That is pretty cool, though, that they have. You know, you can buy the car with upgraded parts, which is pretty sweet. Alright, so now we're going to upgrade our car, S15. And I wonder if we can add the Y body kit on this car. Oh, wait, I think there was a body kit swap. Oh, did I glitch it? Where's the Y body? Um, I think I broke Forza. <laughs> um, sure, we're gonna buy it install, but it doesn't look like it's there. So, um, we broke Forza. <laughs> we broke Forza right away. Uh, let us uh, change cars and. Is it gonna load in the wide body now? There it goes. Okay, now we got the wide body loaded. All right. So before it wasn't loading the wide body, so let's go back into upgrades. So no, we don't need to. We need to upgrade it first. So it is sweet. The wide bodies are here. Super excited to have wide bodies in motorsports. Of course, we're gonna change the wing. Can we get? The Rocket Bunny Wing. There it is. And we get the high wing. We're gonna go with the Rocket Bunny Wing, of course. Sea West Hood. Alright, so now we got all that upgraded. So now we're gonna decide what if we're gonna be keeping the stock motor in or are we gonna be doing a V8? That I haven't decided yet. Line 6 twin turbo, V8, 4 rotor. Uh, I think we're gonna go with. We're gonna keep it stock. It's good. We'll keep the stock motor in it. We're gonna keep stock tires. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the width to 235s in the front. In the rear, we're gonna go to 255s. As for wheels. Do like these wheels. 
Of course, we're gonna have to change the color. I'm still gonna buy those. We'll change now. What size are we gonna go? We're gonna go with 17s. I don't want to go too big since I'm building for drifting. Then we're gonna have to get into upgrading for power. Of course, we're gonna have to do suspension. So let's work on that. We need a clutch. I wish it was a faster way. We'll leave the stock tranny. We gotta throw an LSD in there. Race suspension. Bigger brakes. We got to sway bars. It's getting pretty expensive. But we'll see. We're gonna drop the weight a little bit because we don't want to do too much weight. There we go. All right. Now, as for power, we're gonna go intake. This is 264. We're not gonna go crazy power on this build. Probably not too high. Let's see. Intake, exhaust. I don't care if I'm out of division brakes and turbo 445 seems like a good basic upgrade set for uh, a first drift type car here on forza 7. so now we gotta tune it all right we're gonna drop front tire pressures a little bit rear tire pressures a little bit throw some camber in there a little bit of tow caster we're, we're gonna soften these cars up a little bit to make it a little bit more split because we don't have rally suspension in this game like we do in horizon so we're gonna dump it to the ground so we can get that nice stance lower this a little bit more i'm just doing a basic quick tune and i will go from there we're gonna leave our brakes what we're going to change to essentially tandem style brakes. Lock the diff, but we're going to put this to 75. All right, so that's what we're going to do for our basic tune. Uh, we're going to have to paint the wheels because I don't like the black ones. That car is damn low. Holy crap. Uh, I feel like this car's a lot lower than it is in Horizon. So we're gonna throw the bronze wheels on. Okay, that looks mean. The the car models and everything here in Forza 7 are incredible. This just this car looks amazing. So let's hope it can drive just as well. I have only drifted a little bit in racing unintentional, so now it's gonna be full intentional drifting or attempting to drift here in Forza 7. All right, so we are gonna go into free play. Now I'm super excited that Maple Valley has made a comeback to Forza. Probably one of my favorite tracks to drift with a long sweeper and like just basically the S in the beginning. So we're gonna go to Maple Valley with our S15. Wide body looks sick, so glad wide bodies are here in seven as well as maple valley making a comeback i am kind of sad that fujimi kaido or any of basically the downhills have not made a comeback into seven but we do have that new dubai circuit which is pretty pretty big so i was hoping for maybe you know fujimi kaido or something to come back but we did get maple valley back so the tandems will be real in maple valley so all right uh we're just gonna start it let's do it, let's do it. Oof. The sounds in this game are incredible. Alright, here we go. Maple Valley, first time. First drift. S15. Here we go. The feedback feels pretty good right now. The car is not. Oh. Wrong gear. Oh, I probably need to go to second. If I want to stay in second, it would have been good. So, feedback feels good. So, first drift, not horrible yet. 
banging in fourth because we got the sweeper coming up. There we go. Oh, we're here to see if we can get a good sweep. A little clutch kick. Tap of the brakes. Oh, too wide. Not enough grip. Yeah, a little wide, but. So, first drift, though. Here on fours and seven. First intentional drifting. The drifting feels good. Feedback feels pretty decent, you know. I mean, we'll see, you know, how we do this time. Can you break in? Kick it back. Down a second. There we go. Ooh, bang in the red line, but. Ooh, just tap. I feel like this car needs a little bit more power. I feel like we're struggling on the power here. So we can't get the sweeper again without going way off track. Oh, you break flick. Don't go into pits. Ooh, he got scared. I thought I was going to go into pits. There we go. No, there we go. No, don't lose it. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So drifting in seven actually is extremely nice right now the feel of the car and the tires are definitely different if you know I the car to slide a lot more on stock tires so I'm wondering if sport tires would be the option to go the clutch kick probably should have changed our gear ratio is a little. That's probably why we're having an issue. We may have to bump the power up some. But the car feels good. Right there. Let's have the brakes stay on track. Yes. And the Maple Valley sweep is back. Oh, I've had so much fun on this track back in the other Forzas. Drifting at Maple Valley, that long sweeper, getting massive doors with people. Ooh, that was a good entry. Oh, too early. Still got it. We still saved our points, though. Yes. Woo. Oh, the drifting is going to be so much fun in lobbies. Super excited to get into some drift lobbies, but... I feel like I add a little bit more power to this car here because I feel like it could use a little more power. So I think we'll do that before we head to another track. Oh, jeez. There we go. The sound, it sounds amazing. I think the next track we're going to go to is another track that I did in Forza 6 a lot, and that's Prague. Ah, uh, I stayed on the clutch way too long. There's in third. Down to second. That's what I need to do. Yup. Ah, uh, we lost our points though. So, Force to seven first drift. Not bad on a very mild tuned car. We're able to get the sweeper. The handling characteristics feel pretty good. Oh, too much lock. Way too much lock. All right, so we're going to finish this runoff. And then we're going to add a little more power and probably head to Prague. Probably about bump it up to a little over 500. For first drift here on Forza Motorsport 7, definitely super, super excited to get more into this. So if you guys picked up your Forza 7, did you download it? Did you get the hard copy? I actually got my physical hard copy in my metal case. Um, did you not get the Ultimate Edition? Are you waiting till it comes out on Tuesday? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Let's uh, bump a little more power in this and go. Hey, look, I got first place of one person. Rock, rocking that like neon green chrome VIP race suit. Oh, we get credits for drifting? What? And we goes to our milestones. Oh, okay. I found a cheat way to get a 
a lot of money really fast. <laughs> Just do a lot of drifting on the track. So we're going to modify this a little bit more. Garage. No, I don't need to go to garage. Tune. Upgrade car. Power. Was I only down to- was I only at 275? I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Oh, these aren't installed. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna install that. I got confused for a second. Oh, I do have the full turbo installed. That's right. Intercooler installed. So, we're gonna do some cams. 516. 558. I think that should be an okay amount. Probably gonna... We're gonna leave the stock trans. I think we can do that pretty well. So now let's go back into free play. So if you guys are enjoying Forza 7 as much as I am, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm looking for Prague. I'm probably going the wrong way. Yep. I believe it's here. Should be here. I thought it was. There it is. Prog. What variants do we have of Prog? Prog full. Short. Reverse. We're going to go Prog full. And we're going to go drift. Daytime. No way we're doing six laps. We'll do two laps. Eh, maybe three. We'll see. All right. So let's load into Prog in our S15. 558 horsepower. Wide body on those ADM wheels. My driver, my driver tar over there. He's uh, he's he's stoked. He's ready to ride. I like how he's got one green glove and one gray glove. I never noticed that until now. Interesting. Loading screens are pretty quick here. So I did only do the first section of the racing series with a Golf R Mark Seven. So it's awesome to have Volkswagen back in Forza 7 because I am a Volkswagen fan. It's sad that we lost Toyota, but here we go. Prague. The rolling starts kind of get me, though, with being on a wheel. All right, here we go. Prague. Oh, huge flick. Save it. Nope. Over rotated. Too much power. Well, too much gas. Not too much power. Just too much gas. Oof. The cars sound amazing in this game. The crackles and the backfires are incredible sounding. They definitely up the audio of the cars. Up the uphill. There we go. Oh, don't lose those points. Oh my gosh. Down to third, little clutch kick. Just tap. Ooh. Okay, so they definitely changed the damage models with the fact that my taillight just completely shattered. Reverse entry. And we didn't lose points, but we actually didn't lose our points for going 90. I wonder if they actually fixed that, The you know, the rotation degree of where you would lose your points at. Let you break in, little clutch kick. Power out. Ooh, don't lose that. I don't think we're gonna link that. I went too sideways on that. There we go. Yup. I feel like, just tap. Oh, we just barely missed that wall. I feel like the drifting in 7 is a lot better than 6. Like the feel of it is, uh, for a force feedback style, is feels a lot nicer. That is still not part of the track. They didn't change that. Just a little tap on all those cones. <laughs> Just ripping through this. Splitter's disappearing into the ground. Probably has something to do with the fact that this thing is stupid low. Prague looks so much more 
gorgeous of a scenery here in seven. Ow, that was more than just a tap. Okay. So first impressions here on first drift for was a seven. Uh it's a lot of fun. Definitely gonna work on the tuning a little bit of the cars. Yep, definitely just bogged down there, wrong gear. Work on the tuning a little bit on the cars, maybe find another car that I'm more comfortable with, but I'm definitely gonna be getting more into the story mode because uh well, I need money. We don't have crap tons of money like we did in Forza 6. We didn't have to do much, we just had a lot of money from the start and we could buy pretty much any car. I run that way wide. So this one actually makes you have to drive and buy cars in order to up the car level. So that's definitely cool because it's going to make people, you know, it's going to make the playability factor of this and, you know, how much you actually have to play it a lot more. To get the cars you want, to get the special cars, you're going to have to play. You can't just get them from the beginning. So people who don't have all the money don't just have all the cars. Okay. I think we are probably going to end this after that. So if you guys like to see and you want to see more Forza 7, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Something just broke. If you want to see a Let's Play series with racing and all that, let me know down in the comment section down below as well. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is for this is you know Forza Motorsport 7, my first drift attempting here, and uh, I definitely feel I'm drifting a lot better in seven on the first drift than I was in six. Oh shoot, except for that. So until next time guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the